Hey kids, welcome back to part two. Hope you're well. We will take a look at our pictures. Now, if your pictures are on Procreate, you can go to a website in Brave or Safari or wherever it is that you want to go to, or whichever you feel more comfortable using. You could go and use the actual desktop yourself and go and airdrop it to your computer and then you can go and convert it. And what we're going to do is convert it using uh, a link called Convertio. I have sent this page to all of you. So this is in your, your OneNote class notebook. So Convertio will go and convert any file that you've got. But you need your picture first. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a picture with me at the moment. So if you don't have a picture or you weren't here during that, that day when you, we were creating our pictures, that's fine, don't worry. You can go and create one yourself. So I've got my pictures here. When you're choosing a picture, you need to be careful because some pictures are suitable, some pictures are not. And the ones that are not suitable are the ones that are really busy like this. So you don't want a patch like this. So you can go and get a badge, but you don't want a patch. This is a patch here, it says the word patch. The reason you don't want this is because, as I talked about in the last uh, video, the clarity or how clear something is, the actual fidelity of the picture is the first thing we should be going for. How clear is that picture? What is the fidelity? And what I'm talking about here is this. So this has something similar to what we call material design. The, pic the, the colors are plain. There's no more than sort of four colors. Um, and then there's different shades within there. So they're going to work. Some things won't show though. So maybe some of the white won't show and it won't come through. If you use a patch, there's lots of different colors of the same, different shades of the same color. Okay, because you can see all this here around the outside there. So let's go and grab one over here. This one looks pretty good. Okay, so I can choose one of these. Maybe I, with my own text in Tinkercad, I could go and put the word Mars or Mission to Mars and change it myself. It's entirely up to you really. You, it's, it's as long as you choose one. Here's one that we chose before and we had actually on the board for our inspiration. I might choose this. I'm going to choose it as well because these numbers here where it says 520 by 600, which is just sort of there ish. Uh, those numbers um, are important when we come to put it into Tinkercad and I'll show you later. I'm getting my pictures from DuckDuckGo and I'm in the images and I've got at school this would be unstrict so you need to go and get a picture and the reason I use DuckDuckGo is because of that number this file this size here so when I got this size this says 520 by 600 that's what I'm interested in I'm not some, interested in something that's smaller than this so let's go and view file and this is the other reason I use DuckDuckGo is I can go straight to the picture that I want so I can right click on here and I can go and save image as I'm going to put it onto uh, my I can go put that into my download okay yours may go to the desktop it's, it's all fine okay now at the moment in the very at the very top it says JPEG or JPG as the file type and we've got to change this into what's called a SVG the JPEG uh, is where your pictures have white in the background and SVG is scalable vector graphics and the word vector just means numbers and it uses numbers instead of actual pixels so on the screen here you'll see pixels but the svg uses numbers to display what what the picture is so it means that when you stretch it it still stays the same it, 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 all, that, that, that clarity that we keep talking about stays the same doesn't get all pixelated so we need to go to convertio like we did before if you're not if you can't remember how to get the convertio it's in your pages here so it's in the first one your Convertio and it says choose file. So I'm going to go and choose my file and it's going to be my NASA logo. I'm going to open it up. So yours will be in your downloads. And then in the middle, it says, what do you want to save it to? Okay, so I want to go in here and here you've got all different kinds of, of things that, that I can change it into. I want to go to image and I want to go to SVG. When you change it to SVG, some of those colors won't appear but most of them probably will, okay? But if it doesn't work, 
it doesn't matter you can always go and choose another one and, and and retry it okay you may need to do three four five different goes before you find one that actually works go and convert and it'll go and upload it and convert it and it'll say do you want to go and download it and we do i'm going to download 9.5 kilobits so it's fine and look the the file extension now it says svg before it said jpg okay go to that done so once you've had a go at that i'll see you in the next bit okay as always good luck